<laughs> All right, but it's not ZSS. It's the Min Min, different blonde. <laughs> not the other. Not the. It's the wrong blonde. God dang it! But it's okay. Min Min is a uh, cooler, whatever. <laughs> Um, uh, you're trying to convince yourself of that? <laughs> I mean, sure. I mean, <laughs> there's definitely one blonde who is better in this instance. I'm not going to name any names, but they definitely start with a T. Um, you know, yeah. But speaking of people with a name T, um, our new Smash Rep. Let's just talk about that for a second, because he's kind of cool. Anyways, let's not talk about it. Let's get into this game. <laughs> um, but getting into this game, already taking the first stock, um, just kind of playing around with Terry's buttons. Now, from most of my understanding with this character, it's either w when you're talking about Terry, it's either you put on damage or you take damage. And wow, just destroying Min Min. You know, Min Min has a very, can have a very bad disadvantage at times. Um, but just kind of taking full use of that and actually falling off of the stage or yeah, the stage with that. Um, just wow. Just going to some crazy stuff. Teapot. I don't know. Their tier is kind of looking nice. Yeah, this wow. that, was, that was a game oh, wow. and a half. I'm pretty sure they actually took all three of those stops with um I think that's Buster Wolf? Not Buster Wolf. Buster Wolf is the, the, the Are You Okay thing, I think, right? Yeah. Um, which, with Knuckle Punch? Puckle, puckle Nunch? Burn Knuckle. Burn Knuckle, oh. <laughs> yeah. um, but they took all three of those stocks with Burn Knuckle. That's so crazy. Definitely kind of understanding how Min Min wants to kind of, um, kind of, kind of recover, for sure. Just trying to do it before actually Min Min can actually make it of anything and i am so sorry i lied they didn't actually take all three stocks with her knuckle one of them was the um the one with the foot um i'm so sorry it's that's something that teapot goes for quite frequently uh be just raw uh from on stage this this burn knuckle right here from the ledge just coasts and all the way out. It's similar to like when when Ganon players go for the wizard's foot, the, their own down B, uh, to cover just the complete horizontal uh, in front of uh, in front of the stage. And yeah, we do see the switch to Azazel. Uh, the, the switch to ZSS from Azazel. Uh, I really liked the the, uh, the idea of a Terry pick uh, of the Min Min into Terry is I guess wrong stage. Uh, it's like solid idea, solid stuff. Um, not not against Teapot's raw advantage. Like you still have to be, you still have to understand how to play Min Min's neutral against uh, any of the FGC reps. And Terry, these uh, these power dunks that are oftentimes seen the the true input power dunks are plus on shield. So if you're not ready to play disciplined and hold shield then yeah terry will walk all over you regardless of the character you're playing i mean honestly yeah for sure this is I actually love seeing um terry players because you know when you actually look at them it's probably the most closest smash will ever get to an actual like fighting game um yeah. and, and <laughs> i definitely i just love watching it because as much as i don't play any other fighting games other than like street fighter and whatnot I definitely just love seeing it specifically because of like how much thought is actually put in to the movement and the buttons that, that most of these characters actually have to have. Um, people specifically like riddles, um, definitely being very careful about how they kind of approach neutral and actually how they approach um, ledge trapping for sure. This character can be extremely good at ledge trapping and just a lot of other things, but um, you know, just aside from actually absolutely walking over Min Min that first game, um, definitely want to actually kind of get into the nit and greedy of Terry getting into his next game since this is both two characters who actually kind of have to play a little bit more neutral than most normal characters do. Honestly, like you'll never see like, you know, a Yoshi play neutral as much as like a Terry does. I'm so sorry to call them out like that, but <laughs> no, 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 no. 
<laughs> they, they need the wake up call. It's like, come on, man. <laughs> come on, you, you dinosaurs. Play some nooch. But I mean, um, you still see that neutral kind of played in fundamentally different ways, especially once Terry gets his uh, gets his go meter online, because uh, you can start doing things like that. And there's so many buttons that come out from Terry in rather rapid succession. Meanwhile, ZSS has to rely on her movement to fully uh, augment that style. But the solid call out on the roll, uh, on the roll from ledge front as is. Uh, Azazel finally taking his first stock of the set, but falling and into the what? same trap. No. Oh wow. Now, um, definitely noticed this a little bit ago, but definitely love the way that um, Teapot has actually been using their movement. Now, um, I think a bit ago in that second stock, they actually used their movement to kind of safely get back to, um, you know just onto the ground and I definitely love the way that they went about that which is just very interesting but now as we see here almost could have been a very bad situation for Teapot um they definitely would have had some extra credit but um they were looking almost scary there but for sure yeah definitely um trying to auto cancel a lot of their um you know specials like knuckle um or power dunk um to kind of just move very effectively around ZSS, which, you know, honestly, ZSS be moving, she be moving around other people, not the other way around. It's just hard when Terry is such a walking hitbox sometimes, like, we see how many of these crack shoots, how many of these power dunks, and all of them are so safe, and then you get hit by jab, then you get clipped by just that all-for-one combo starter, and if you're not ready, for that fifth, for the 50 50 that exists within Terry's incredibly quick jab, then you're gonna be you're gonna be falling at a percent like this. Uh, for anyone that isn't aware, uh, there's two ways to SDI Terry's jab, either in or down and away. Down and away saves you from the rising tackle, as we see uh, close out the game. But if you SDI down and away, you get clipped by the power dunk, and then the inverse is true. If you SDI in, you avoid the power dunk, but it's a true combo into the rising tackle. Just oof. There's a lot of information just uh, dumped on y'all. We love that. Um, I wanted to uh, throw off my hat just like Terry, but I'm not cool like him, nor do I have a hat. I only have a uh, scarf on. So um, yeah, I just have a Kirby with me. We don't we don't get to do nice things. Nope. Nobody can do nice things anymore. Right, um, but, but yeah, <laughs> that was that was very interesting to watch. I honestly do love Terry as much as I love playing that character. Not playing as him, playing against him. Um, but yeah, for sure. If they probably would have added somebody like Minat or Chun Lai, I would have dropped Bayo in a heartbeat. I'm 